Hey everybody, happy Friday. It's time for Facebook Friday. I hope you had a good week and survived another week of quarantine slash lockdown slash social distancing, whatever we're calling it. It's been the end of week six for us <clears throat> and I'm ready for it to be done. I think I say that every week. I know we're all ready for it to be done. Hey, I see you guys jumping on, good. It's beautiful here today outside, it's hot, feels like spring, and I would love nothing more than to be outside, I don't know, maybe a pool, maybe, I don't know, it's it's beautiful outside. We're going to try to get out this weekend, um, the Texas parks have opened again, and we're going to take the kids and get out, hopefully tomorrow. All right, so it looks like you guys have found me, let me see if I can find me. Um, all right, very good, very good. Today, we're gonna talk about the retiring in colors. We're gonna make three projects, and I actually have, I don't know, like 10 projects. Last weekend, of course, we had nothing to do, and I came in here and turned on a movie and just played with the in colors, and, um, I just had so much fun. So I have a lot of things to, to show you. The funny thing is the three that I had picked to do today, I actually have had to change because uh, as you may know, uh, with the retired list, when it comes out, things start selling out like that. So some of the things that I had planned on doing had sold out. So even last night I was kind of scrambling around trying to change some things. Um, but. Uh, I think everything we're using is still available, fingers crossed, you never know. That's the thing about when they announce the retirement list. I call it the retirement list, but they call it the last chance list. Um, everything becomes um, while supplies last, except for stamps. They'll produce stamps through about, I can't remember the exact date, May 25th. But all the other things, especially the things that come from overseas, once they're gone, they're gone. Um, so if you guys haven't checked it out, make sure that you go and check out the retirement list. I'm gonna flip the camera around because I wanna show you guys a little bit about that. Um, and let me see, yeah, everything else I'm gonna show you is requires the camera probably to be turned around. So let's see, let me mute that. I thought I had already done that. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna turn the camera around. So hold on, I'm gonna cover you up. Good to see you guys. Hello to everybody. So when the retirement list comes out, I get kind of, well, for us, for demonstrators, they, they put up the new catalog PDF at the exact same time the retirement list came out. So it was kind of, you know, like, oh, what do I look at first? Um, <laughs> and, and like the next three hours of my life where I was chained to the computer. I, we had leftovers for dinner, mom's not cooking, you know, there was a lot to see. Um, but the one thing that I love to do is print out that list and I had it here a minute ago. Did I throw it away? I don't know. Anyway, you can print out the PDF. I linked it over on my blog uh, two days ago. And then I just start going page by page in the catalog because um, it's listed by page number. And then I just write an R next to everything that's retiring. That kind of visually tells me um, what you know is leaving and then I can think, oh, I didn't get that yet. I need to order that. Um, I really like to do that. My husband was laughing at me because I was, you know, it was like I was studying for a test with that, that PDF. Um, but it, it's kind of fun too, especially if you are just a lover of Stampin' Up and you know Stampin' Up stuff, to go through and see things that you're surprised that stayed, things that you're, you're surprised that are going. Um, I don't know, it's just really kind of fun. Um, Donna, you know what, Donna? I have a PDF I can share with you. The PDFs are hard because for one, they're tiny. And two, they have all the French um, and other languages listed in there. So for us in the United States, we only want to see the English versions. Another thing um, that I want to point out to you is that that's confusing about that list is it'll tell you that a bundle is retiring. So let's say like the dinosaur bundle. The bundle price, well, where is it? The bundle price right here, the bundle is retiring. The, the, you know, when you buy a bundle, you save 10%. That sounds like a Geico commercial. 
<laughs> when I said that. You say 10%, um, but that's only for the first year it's in the catalog. So next year, the dinosaur dies and stamp sets will be in the catalog, but not as a bundle. So when you look at that list, sometimes it can be really confusing because you see the bundle and you think, oh, well, then there it's retiring but it's not just the bundle price. So um, I will share those PDFs. I have two PDFs where somebody else took the time and deleted all of that extra stuff in there. Um, and I will link them. Um, you know what, I'll link them over my blog post today um, for you guys and you can print them out. It's a little bit easier to do. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out to you guys, this kind of threw us all for a loop. All the blends are listed. Um, and I mean, I must have gotten 10 emails in about five minutes asking about the blends. The blends are not going away. They are, they are here to stay. We love the blends. But what Stampin' Up! has found is that the sale of single markers is way low. Most of us are buying them in the pairs. So they've decided to only sell them in pairs in the next catalog. So like, Right now, cherry cobbler, we can get a light cherry cobbler and we can get a dark or we can get one or the other or we can get both, right? There's three different numbers. So all the singles are going away and you'll only get them in combo packs. So my recommendation to you is that if there are light colors, like for me, light crumb cake and light smoky slate, I go through those a lot. Um, I would order maybe a couple of those right? Um, because starting in June, June 3rd, you'll only be able to buy the combo pack of those two colors. So if you're a big Stampin' Blends user, you'll know which ones you use up quickly. Typically, uh, we talked about this, I think, last week. I really don't go through my blends very quickly. Um, you know, I, I can't really even, I mean, in the however many years that I've had them now, I've maybe had to replace five, other than those two colors I told you, uh, light smoky slate and light uh, crumb cake I use a lot. So um, if you are concerned about that, if you're concerned about having to buy them in the combo pack, then go ahead and just order a couple of those light colors that you use a lot of. That would be my recommendation, okay? Um, the other thing, there's two other things that we were really shocked about. The embossing buddy is retiring. And as far as I can see, there's no replacement in the new catalog, no like, you know, new version of that. Um, I'm sure there's something out there. Uh, maybe I just don't know about it or maybe it's just not selling well. So that's retiring. We're actually gonna use that today. That's what we use before we emboss to kind of remove all the static from our paper. Um, and then the piercing mat. Where's the piercing mat? Right here. A lot of times, you know, if you have those solid photopolymer stamps and you stamp on certain surfaces, it kind of leaves like a bubble in the middle. And if you put your piercing mat underneath that, that helps those pho photopolymer stamps um, stamp more solidly. So that's going away. Um, I don't know. Is that already sold out? I feel like it is. I don't know. We'll have to check. If not, I would add one of those too. There are other things that you can use in place of that because that's not what that's designed for. A piercing mat is designed for the piercing tool. Um, you can use the, uh, my friend Kay pointed out, you can use the Stamparatus foam mat down here. Um, it's thinner, but it still works. Um, if you have a Stamparatus, um, it came with that. Um, oh, and it's only $3. Wow, I was thinking it was more than that. $3, that's pretty cheap. Um, and you can use fun foam. If you have fun foam, like if you have a craft area, you can use that. Circle punches, we're gonna be down to three circle punches. I don't even know what to say about that because I use those a lot. There are some other really weird things on the list, um, like some dyes that are gonna be in the new catalog. For instance, the Nature's Roots dies are discounted heavily. I don't know, have they sold out already? Discounted heavily, um, but they're in the new catalog. So last year, Stampin' Up! Um, changed over. You know, we got rid of our big shot and parted ways with Sizzix. So now Stampin' Up's creating their own dies. Uh, so I think the part of that, the carryover, is that they're retiring the item numbers and those old um, old dies, I think. And then the, in the catalog, it's the same dies, just manufactured differently. 
I can't confirm that, but I think that's what it is. Um, so just know that not all those dies you see on the retired list are actually retiring. Um, I was going to show you something too. Nathan, let's see, does anyone know what the deal is with Stamparatus plates? Um, I'm guessing that the Stamparatus plates just haven't sold. Typically when something retires, it's because it hasn't sold very well. Um, they make room, you know, they have only so much room in their warehouse on that pick line and they want to get rid of things that, that don't sell well to bring in things that, that will sell better. That, that would be my, um, thought. Um, Okay, so when you log in to the Stampin' Up! customer site, you go to the Last Chance products, and then you can scroll forever and ever and ever, and it'll bring everything up that's on the retiring list. So you'll see those blends. Um, the combo packs are listed also because they're coming back in a new item number. I know, it's very odd, but just know, don't panic. The blends are not going away. Um but you can see everything on here. You can also sort this. I sometimes wanna see like what's the cheapest thing <laughs> if I'm trying to get to a certain price level or something and you can uh, uh, do that from cheapest, uh, lowest price to most expensive. And this will also show you where things are discounted. Um, well, I mean, it's gonna show you discounted things anyway, but it brings up the really cheap things right off the bat if you do that. Um, speaking of cheap things, Let's see, The there are some, if you go from most expensive, you'll see as you scroll down that some of the dies, well now of course I can't find any of the dies, and I was gonna show you guys, where's that kit? Did I miss it? The, did it sell out already? The ornate, no not ornate, um, Oh, you guys know, Botanical Prints, there it is, right there, look. Botanical Prints, this is the product medley that is our whole um, all-star tutorial bundle this month. Normally $70, now it's $42. It has dies, stamps, die cuts, paper, ribbon, um, and the little cute bumblebee uh, metal trinkets right there. So if you buy that and you bump your order up another eight dollars you'll get that for free and there are 12 tutorials in here to use it pretty cool right pretty cool all right so there's that i don't want to spend a whole lot of time on that because i know you guys you guys know how to shop <laughs> you don't need my help to shop right um and i showed you guys these right this is this is my project this month for the all-star tutorial bundle and then my bonus card. And I just designed Maze yesterday and it's so cute. I can't wait to show you guys. That PDF is free with any $50 order um, online. And uh, it's also available in my PDF store. Let's see, what did I miss? Do you guys look, I soaked my nails off. It was a sad day, sad day. <laughs> Only took six weeks of quarantine for me to finally give in. Um, okay, ornate uh, garden class to go. The deadline is Monday. And you guys, almost all of this is on bag order. So if you want it, sign up quickly. I um, have enough to do a certain number of kits of paper and all that. So Sign up quickly if you want this. I'm gonna have to turn it off, I think, at some point over the weekend before, because um, some of it's on back order for quite a quite a, quite a time. It's very popular, um, super cute. I've showed you guys before this class, um, the little Mary Inglebright paper, so cute. Uh, you can find this on today's PDF, as well as over on my blog, you have to email me for the link or if you're on my email list you should have gotten the email today with the link to register okay and here's this now this is the pdf over on pinkbuckaroo.com hopefully it has posted hopefully i did it right today you guys has anybody checked yet um okay so over here there's the pdf information about the all-star pdf information about ornate garden and you guys okay i have a little here's this see it's white. Remember, they showed us next month's paper pumpkin. They gave us this white sneak peek um, of what's coming in May. And then today, 
They revealed the color one. Look at it. It's a sneak peek of four of the new in colors. Let's see if I can remember the names. Bumblebee, Midnight Mist, something magenta, and something jade. <laughs> Two out of four, right? Um, so four, those four colors and um, Purple Posy. So you want this kit, I'm telling you. It's going to be so cute. I've seen a little bit more sneak peek stuff um, on the demonstrator website. And it's gorgeous. So make sure you have... Um, subscribed by May 10th. You have until May 10th to do that, okay? All right, so there's that. And I will put the link up there in this video description when I'm done. Okay, so if you guys have not joined me for Facebook Friday before, welcome. I'm glad you're here. We do three projects. I usually pick one product and do three different projects. Today, it's the in colors. And um, we're gonna just really have some fun today with these. Uh, I just kind of went out of my um, comfort zone and did some techniques and I watched some fun videos online and just tried some new things and I'm excited to share them with you. So um, if you would like to put in an order by Monday at midnight, here's the host code. Here it is right here. Um, let me see. And I'll put it right here. That way you can use it. If, you're, if your order is over $35, I'll send you the make and takes from today for free next week. Ah, it's crooked. You guys, hold on. You know I can't stand it when it's crooked. It's such a delay from the time I move it to the time I can see it on my iPad. It's like eight or 10 seconds, which feels like a really long time. Anyways, if you put in an order, $35 minimum, using the host code by Monday at midnight, I will send you these three projects we do today for free. Um, if your order is over $150, don't use the host code because you're going to get stamp and rewards and I'll still send you, I'll see your order and I'll still send you the make and takes. Okay. Now we have some prizes from last week and I told you guys that we were going to do pedal to the metal this week. I know. I told you that we're still going to do pedal to the metal, but we're going to do it next week. Okay. I realize ah, I need to do the end colors before they all sell out. So, cause I had planned on doing the end colors next week. So I switched it. So I promised those of you that were looking for pedals to the metal, come back next Friday, okay? Jean Hoffman and Mary Falconer, congratulations. Thank you for sharing my video today or last week on Facebook. Um, I don't think I have either of your mailing addresses. Maybe I do. If you'll just message them to me, it'll be much easier. Thank you, Mike. Just Jade and Magnificent, no, Magenta Madness. I'm sorry, I couldn't see over my cord here. Magenta Madness. That's going to be hard for me to remember that one. All right. Congratulations, ladies. Now, this week I've got two big ones and they're not the same. I've got two bundles, Clubhouse and Ride With Me. I'm devastated that this is leaving. If you haven't played with Ride With Me, it is so cute. It is one of the best things that we've had in this catalog. Um, the dies make a little 3D truck. They also just cut out the truck for cards. It's so cute. And then the Clubhouse um, bundle. Oh, here come the dogs. My girls left to go to, to Grandma's for the afternoon, took the puppy to play with her puppy, and um, they're not here to corral the dogs, and I didn't lock them up. The older dogs, the Barkers. Anyway, um, Clubhouse is here. Uh, as the second prize, it's a great one. And I'm upset it's retiring too because I had really thought maybe of doing a class in May with it. All right, here comes Charlie. Hold on. Okay, Charlie. Go on. Go on. Sorry, guys. Sorry. I didn't think he'd do it today. Okay, so all you have to do to share. Sorry if your dogs are going crazy or your cat or whatever. I try not, I try not to let that happen, but... It's chaos around here. This is what it sounds like all day now. All day, dogs barking, doors opening, slamming, yelling, screaming, laughing, talking, all day. All day. <laughs> well, anyway, what was I saying? See, I can't even form a clear thought these days. Um, okay, so these two are the prizes for next week. Share the video on Facebook. I will pick two random winners, okay? Oh, crazy. Yeah, I was just telling my husband last night, and I think I hurt his feelings because I was like, please just stop talking. I'm just, <laughs> my head, I just can't take any more, any more. 
I felt bad. Um, by the way, this is what your Facebook projects will look like if you order um, with me and use the host code and all that. I always send you a little thank you tag. Don't call stamping up. I'm not sending you pre-stamped images. That's against policy. You'll need the stamps and ink and adhesive. I send you everything else. This is a thank you tag, okay? Um, this is kind of what they look like. And they come to you for free as a thank you. Okay. Now, what are we doing today? Let me move this. Hey, you guys, have you seen this? Don't get mad at me. This thing is from Amazon. And it blinks a light and makes a noise. And it's supposed to make your dog stop barking. Charlie is immune to it. He's like, yeah, whatever. But the dogs next door, when they bark, I use it and they stop barking. I don't know what it's called, but it's from Amazon. Charlie knows now if I grab it, he's supposed to stop barking, but he still barks. <laughs> Just a little tidbit. You can see how well it worked. All right, so today we're doing in colors. Um, I showed you guys this card. Oh, no, I don't have it. I will show you in a minute. This is one of the cards we're making. I kind of changed one that I showed you the other day. Um, here's the other one and the other one. Now let me show the ones we're not making, okay? And I'm gonna show you them on my blog next week. Um, I use the circle dies to make some rainbows on the heart. Isn't that cute? And look, I scored the paper using my Simply Scored. Um, some watercolor, little watercolor, uh, lovely lipstick, a grapefruit grove and pineapple punch. Here is, I love Kelly Green and Blue um, together. And so this is Retiring Blueberry Bushel and Call Me Clover, which is such a great green. Oh, it's too bad that that's going away. Um, here is um, Grapefruit Grove. I really love Grapefruit Grove, and I am not an orange person, but I love Grapefruit Grove. Grapefruit Grove goes great with Calypso Coral and uh, Petal Pink. Aren't those great together? And then this is uh, Blueberry Bushel. Here's a little lovely lipstick and Cucumber Crush. Yeah, I called it again. That's a really old color. Not Cucumber Crush, Call Me Clover. They look a lot alike and I like both of them. That stamp set's retiring too. Oh, here's the other one. Isn't that cute? And I did some splatters. I used the other side of that circle, all the circle dies that I did to make that rainbow. And then a piano one with lovely lipstick. All right, so. Those are some extras I will show you next week on my blog. Let's go ahead and get started. Hopefully, I haven't missed anything. Are you guys mad that I have a, a, a thing for my dog? I know somebody's gonna get on here and say that's mean. Oh, go ahead, it's fine. I can take it. <laughs> okay, I am gonna show you how to make a rainbow. These colors, let me just show you right here. Look how fun they are together. It is a rainbow, and when these colors came out two years ago, I said, it's like a crayon box. They're like primary colors. Now, this one's not so much primary, but it goes beautifully in there together. So I have taken all of them and all the colors, which are Lovely Lipstick, Blueberry Bushel, Call Me Clover, Pineapple Punch, and Grapefruit Grove, and I've cut a bunch of quarter one a quarter inch strips by one fourth now after I cut all those yesterday I noticed on mine I think my original one I used one eighth strips because it's much skinnier but I had already cut all these so we're going with one quarter inch okay all right so you're gonna need just a piece of um, whisper white and I am using a, a quarter piece of whisper white cardstock okay and let's find my adhesive. And we're gonna use this end of the Tombow. Have you ever used this end, the broad tip? I forget that it exists, I forget. And the Tombow is, and I know someone's gonna correct me. When it dries, it says permanent, permanent or removable. So if you put it on, it's supposed to then, and let it dry, then it's supposed to be removable. But I find that it's sticky and it'll stay. So that's what I'm gonna do, okay? I'm gonna take that broad tip and I'm just gonna cover my quarter piece of Whisper Way cardstock in Tombow. And you don't want it real thick, you just kinda wanna spread it all out, 
kind of a, just a coating and it is gonna dry before you're finished. However, it's still gonna be tacky and it'll still hold on to your little strips. All right, so do that. Have y'all noticed I have become a Tombow user a lot lately? All right, now, in case you don't remember from kindergarten, rainbow order is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. There's a song that I used to sing to my kids in kindergarten, but I will, I will refrain because I know you guys don't want to hear it. I am going to take my lovely lipstick strip. I'm going to start down here at this bottom corner, and I'm just going to go like that. That's going to be my starting point. And then I'm just going to start um, laying these on here like this. Um, now, these are perfect rainbow colors. However, red, orange, yellow, green, blue. <laughs> and notice I didn't use purple. I was trying to really stick with the um, end colors, but you could add gorgeous grape in there. You could also do this in shades, right? So um, shades of purple, shades of blue, shades of green. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of ombre. You could do, um, what am I doing? I can't talk and do this at the same time. Um, you could do like a pastel rainbow. Lots of different options, but I'm just gonna stick with our in colors today. Okay, so you're gonna just keep going and going and going like this. It's actually very relaxing. <laughs> After you cut all those strips and your arm is super sore, you can sit down with a movie and just start making these. Now, for the sake of the video, I have done that already. I've done two of them. You know, okay, here, guys, full disclosure today. I didn't pre-record anything today. I didn't do any clean recordings. So I'm fully unorganized. I'm not totally, I'm sure that I have forgotten many things and I can already see something that I've forgotten, which I will grab. But here's what it looks like when you're done, okay? Can you guys see that? So then I'm just gonna take my scissors. You could do your trimmer too. And I'm just gonna cut it off. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna put it in our die cut machine. Um, now, originally when I started this, I thought maybe this would be my background. And if you wanna do that, then you do wanna get your trimmer and make sure these are perfectly straight, okay? Just do, 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 do. Now I'm gonna use the Stitch Stars dies, but you could do anything. The hearts would be cute. Um, you know, triangles would be cute, diamonds, any kind of shape. Now, remember when I, two seconds ago, when I told you I am not totally prepared? I don't have my star dies. What happened? Where are they? I know I pulled them out, and they're probably on a different tray. Yep, here they are. Okay. I'm using these twice today, so they're on the other tray. I was kind of prepared. Okay, oh, and all of this, you guys, that I just cut off, look, you can also use these, you know, like if you cut it off over here, use it, come over here and use it for this, for these smaller pieces, okay? So look at that and let's see how many. One, two, three, four, five, six. You need about five or six of each color to cover this page, all right? All right, now, stars. Let me move everything out of the way. I love the way that looks, don't you? That's kind of fun before you cut it. All right, now, what stars? Well, I don't know. Just use whatever. Let's see what I used. We have so many options. We definitely did this one, and the smaller one, and this one. I know I didn't do the tiny one. I'm thinking I did this one, let's see. That looks too small. Did I use the super big one? I did. It's not super big, it's the second biggest. Okay, so you have to always start with your biggest one first. Otherwise, it's not gonna, they're not gonna all fit. But like I showed you a minute ago, I've done several, I did two sheets this way. So then you'll have lots. Did I do this? I guess that is the smallest one. Now look, gotta have a couple for the inside too, okay? So you put it on here and then you cut. And it is thick, right? So you might need to go through a couple of times couple of times, let's see, and there we go, so cute. You know what else I was just thinking? You could do like 
team colors. Make this some kind of team card or graduation um, school colors. That would be fun. Lots of lots of options for this. And I do think I like the eighth of an inch width better than, let's see, I'm gonna try to make the most of this sheet. I think I like the eighth of an inch width better. I don't know. All right, so let's go through. I think I can get two more right there. Let's see. All right, so I am, haven't looked to see what you guys are saying. Y'all are very quiet today. It doesn't look like you're saying very much. Hopefully, I heard, I saw somebody say from stormy Florida. Storming in Florida, huh? Um, it hasn't stormed here in a while. I love a good storm. <laughs> Trisha says, I see a project I can do while watching TV with a hubby in my future. Yes, I know. I have projects like that too that I set aside as things I can do in front of the TV. This is one for sure. You could just make all kinds of different combinations. Okay, there we go. Let's see. Is that going to come out? There we go. Oh, I need to trim that a little bit. All right, there we have it. Now let me put these stars back because we're going to need them in just a second. The stars are carrying over. Yay, the stars are awesome. And da, 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 like that, we'll put that over here, move this. And look at that, you could even do like a shaker with that. If you put, you know, um, your foam adhesive around the outside, that would be a cute shaker card. No waste. All right, now we're going to layer these so that we have one that goes in the back like that, okay? And then this one, nope, this is not the small one. Where's my other small one? Right, did I not cut another small one? Nope, I need to cut it. Let me get my trimmer, hold on. I told you guys, a little unprepared today. Just a little bit. We're gonna layer these on to a piece of Whisper White that is three and three fourths by five, okay? So it's gonna be a little bit smaller than this white piece. Now I'm using a stamp set called Peaceful Moments. This is with the Poppy stuff in the spring catalog. And I saw somebody yesterday on my Facebook page say, oh, I'm so sad the poppies or all the poppy stuff is retiring. No, no, it's not retiring. It's in the new catalog, just the bundle just the bundle um, number and the bundle price is retiring, but all of this is carrying over. Yay. So I'm gonna use, um, these are the moments we'll look back on with joy. I'm gonna put it right here in Memento Black. Okay, and then chilly and cloudy. Oh, I'm sorry. It's warm and sunny here but that's how it is from like april to november we get tired of it all right let's do a little bit of adhesive here i like another thing i was going to mention about really liking the um liquid adhesive on those strips is it gives you time to move things around too um, and same here if you use a little bit of a liquid adhesive then if you place it and you're like mm, i don't really like that I'm gonna have them hanging off so I can cut off some of them. I like it when, you know, it goes to the edge. Let's do this one right here. See, I don't know, I don't know if I like that there. Is it too late? Let's move it. Hmm. <laughs> All right, we'll just leave it. All right, now we gotta do some small ones. Let's do a small one here. That's cute. Let's do, some, <laughs> I can't decide, a small one here. And I really need one more small one for inside, but we're gonna go ahead and use it because something needs to go here or it's gonna be off balance. Right there. All right, now, give it a sec to dry. We will, let's go ahead and layer up these things so that they're ready. And let me grab my adhesive. By the way, you guys, snail is definitely retiring. 
there is something new coming in the new catalog. So if you love snail, you won't see it in the next catalog, but I am super excited to see what's coming. I hope that I've heard that it is awesome. All right, now these extra little um, stars we'll put down here like this. And I really needed a smaller one, but we'll just put that one there because it's cute. All right, there, oops, I'm out of the screen. All right, now, hopefully these are dry. Turn this over, snip, 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 snip. And let's snip that one right there. And there we go. Now, dimensionals, of course. Dimensionals, of course. Hi, Buffy. I will be doing my In Color Club this year. I'm so glad you asked. Yes, I actually wrote down all the prices yesterday and then I didn't do anything with it. Um, there will be an In Color Club starting in June. I will have signups in May. In Color Club is where you get every product in each of the In Colors for five months in a row and you get a free embellishment each month too. It's really fun and a handmade card for me. Thanks for asking. All right. Done. Now look, you can really tell the difference between the real skinny strips and the wider strips. And I like both. I do. What do you guys think? Cute, right? Fun? You could just really, you know, go to town with these pieces. I love it. I love this. This was really fun. And I think I will be doing this quite a bit. All right, good. I'm glad you guys liked it. Let's do the next one. Let me clean up my mess. And move this out of the way. The next one is also a rainbow. These colors just really lend themselves to rainbows. Um, I, you know, like I said, it looks like a box of crayons. Now I posted this card the other day over on Facebook and this was gonna be one of our projects. But then what happened? This DSP sold out. It actually sold out I think even before I posted this card. So I didn't want to make a card with a product that you couldn't order. If you have the in color DSP at home, then of course you can go ahead and make it with the DSP. But I switched it up and we're going to stamp, stamp and emboss, all right? And we're gonna do that to um, create those cute little layers. All right, now I'm using a stamp set that is retiring called Budding Borders. I'm also using Broadway Birthday, um, it's your birthday. And that's retiring too. So let's make our little strips first, okay? You're gonna need um, two of each color. Let me see, hold on, let me get them all organized. Two of each color and half inch by, and it's wider, I cut mine wider. This piece is, um, three and three fourths wide, but I cut them, I think it's five and a half by half an inch, just so that I can snip them all off and make them even. So you're gonna need two of each, okay? And this, uh, working with the Stamparatus, really will help you with this, uh, this border stamp. If you're really good, you can, uh, of course, stamp it just by eye, with your eye, but I needed to use my Stamparatus. All right, so get your long border and put it right there. You can use, if you use your grid paper on your Stamparatus, it'll help you line that up straight. And then I moved my magnets down so I can see exactly where that's at. Now the, the stamp is a little bit narrower than the paper. So I know to put my paper right there in the middle. I'm gonna lay this down, pick it up. Okay, now I can lay my paper right in there. Get it nice and straight. And I'm gonna move these down now that I know where it needs to go. That was weird. Why did that, look at that. that oh, you know what, I have a magnet sheet underneath. It's pushing it off. All right, there we go. Okay, now we're gonna do color on color. So we'll start with Grapefruit Grove. Um, Shannon, you know, you really only need to cut about, if you do the skinny ones, 
you only you really only need to do I don't know five well no you probably need more with the skinny one so maybe seven or eight and if you have a chopper then you know like a guillotine cutter it goes pretty fast and I cut way too many I realize that all right now you're gonna have to clean your stamp and go to the next color and don't worry I'm not gonna do all these I've done most of them ahead of time I just wanted to show you how I switched it out ink 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 all over and whoops I have duct tape on my magnets all right lovely lipstick all right so you're gonna repeat that with pineapple punch call me clover and blueberry bushel okay so pretend that we just did that now these other pieces we're gonna emboss and <laughs> I just use that folder I literally just used it before we went live. Did I put it away? Sometimes I amaze myself and I put things away. Hmm, I did not put it away. All right, well, let's see. Did I put it on the bottom? Hmm. What in the world? Why do I do this to myself? I know when I take things off the tray that I'm gonna be sorry. We're gonna use that Coastal Weave embossing folder. Let me check right here. What did I use it for? I don't even remember what I used it for. Oh, I do remember. I made another card. I keep my embossing folders right here. Okay, we're gonna use the different one. That Coastal Weave embossing folder is awesome. It's the one that goes with the Tropical Oasis Suite. Retiring, super sad. This one's retiring too. And this one's an awesome one. This is um, Basket Weave, right? Is that what it's called? It's very similar. So you're going to take your strips, your half inch strips, load them in like this and get them straight. Get them straight on there. Don't breathe or don't move. Now, I don't think I need this one for this one. I need this one. Hold it down, run it through. And what did I do with that embossing folder? My, my office is really clean too. I should be able to see it. All right, there we go. So the reason I embossed them is because I wanted them to look a little bit different um, than the stamped ones. So it's two different textures. All right, so let's bring our white cardstock over. I've got a piece of Whisper White that is, um, Again, that same size, three and a, three and three fourths by five, and I'm gonna just do this again with my Tombow. Um, this one is not as, I mean, you could easily use your dry adhesive on this one, but since it's here, I'm gonna do it. All right, now, color, rainbow order, guys. Red on top, or lovely lipstick, and then red again. And I'm overlapping them just slightly so that there's no white showing through, okay? Just slightly. And then another one, the embossed. It was really cute with that paper, that DSP. If you have that DSP, you should use it. That gingham DSP. There will be new DSP packs in the new catalog with different prints. Um, they're cute. They're very cute. I feel like I'm going crooked a little bit. Am I going crooked? Oh, you know, that's upside down. Oh, well. Okay, good. I can flip it. Whew. All right, there we go. Now, call me Clover. Right there. Call me Clover. Overlap, cute, cute. And last but not least, Blueberry Bushel. Blueberry Bushel is a pretty color. I don't use it very much. I'm just not a blue. I don't use blues a lot. All right, so there we go. Same deal as last time, except this time we want it to, <laughs> joy. Uh, yeah, I soaked them all off. And these are my regular nails and they are 
paper thin. Next week you'll see me with super short nails because they're not going to last. Yep, I know. Got to do what you got to do during the quarantine, right? All right, so we're going to cut all this off. There we go. And now we have that piece. Now for the Wish die right here, that is also from the Broadway, it's called Broadway Lights, and it matches with a Broadway birthday stamp set. This was a couple of years ago, it came out um, as a bundle, but now you have to buy them separately. Um, and we're gonna use the Wish right here. We're also, I didn't wanna have to t do that tiny um, dot on the eye, because it's a very tiny dot right there. And because I'm using dimensionals, that would be really hard. So I'm using the star, the small star for the dot, okay? Um, I thought I saw a question, I guess not. Okay, big shot back. So we are gonna have a new die cut machine. I don't know if I'm supposed to talk about it, but there is a new die cut machine coming. I better, I better not talk about it because I didn't read. <laughs> there was an update today about what we can and can't say. And now I didn't read it. So don't turn me in to Stampin' Up! Joe. By the way, I forgot to tell you that I have already embossed this white piece with a subtle embossing folder. That's the one that makes it look like textured cardstock. I did that ahead of time. Um, <laughs> Buffy, you know, I heard somebody else said that they were doing their own dip nails too, and I am not good enough for that. I can barely paint my nails, you know, like I really think it would be a mess and then it would be, you know, if it's stuck like, like the regular dip does, it would be a nightmare. I'll just wait. I'll just be patient. Here, um, in Texas, they are going to be opening salons and stuff pretty soon so i don't think it'll be too long of a wait my um hairdresser texted me yesterday and got me on the schedule in may so fingers crossed fingers crossed i know that's controversial i don't want to hear about it i know everybody's got their own opinion i know you don't have to tell me well i mean i could say a lot of things but i won't okay Many dimensionals. It's stamping. We're not going to get into anything controversial, right? I've done two controversial things now. The, the clicker for the dog and uh, <laughs> talked about salons opening. Boy, who would have thought a year ago, right? And you ever think about that? I look back on my Facebook memories, you know, that pop up every day. And I look, I'm like, gosh, you were so naive. You had no idea what was coming, Erica. None of us did. We were out going to the movies. And right now it should be Fiesta. We were doing Fiesta stuff here in San Antonio. We didn't know what was coming. We did not know. All right, so this die cut cuts this in two separate pieces. I don't know why. I guess because it's like cursive -y. And so um, is that a word, cursive -y? <laughs> um, so I have put it at an angle with my tiny dimensionals and you could see some of the, the many dimensionals are even a little bit too wide so you might have to get a little snippy with your dimensionals and cut them so that they fit and then we put the star and then of course we need just something else let's do a little bit of bling I need my take your pick tool Okay, thank you, Buffy. Okay, yeah, so we can mention the new machines, but we can't show them. Okay, good. Phew, thought I was gonna get in trouble. There's a new machine coming, a new die cut machine. Machines, just get ready. Oh, no, we don't want that there because we gotta put the words there. You guys are gonna love it. It won't be available for ordering when the catalog goes live, it, but shortly thereafter, okay? We just gotta have patience which we've all become experts at patience right we're very patient now all right so here's that it's your birthday i'm going to stamp that in blueberry bushel on whisper white and then the what's this punch called i can never remember the classic label punch not retiring it's a good one it's quite a few punches retiring there was yesterday, and I did not even see it, or day before yesterday when the um, retired list came out, that 
there was a I can't remember the name it doesn't matter now because it's sold out there was a punch box a box that had a stamp it was like a 10 and it had the 10 and the punch um somebody will say somebody will say it here what it's called but anyway it was six dollars originally 40 something that was insane and I did not even see it until it was already sold out did anybody get that punch box oh awesome for six dollars whew there's some really good steals out there those those um nature's root rooted in nature whatever it's called those dies are carrying over in the catalog but the the old ones on the retired list right now are super cheap and those are one of our pricier dies so if you guys have been wanting those rooted in nature dies Go get them. They are very cheap and they will be full price in the right in the new catalog. Okay, so I put that on with dimensionals. What do you guys think? Cute. I don't think it's quite as cute as the gingham, but it works, right? So cute. I love this card. I love that die. I like that font. I wish that we had more dies with that font. That's a really good font. All right, good. All right. Now, you know, I had cut two sets of each project so that I could have a clean recording of these. And it just didn't happen this morning. It was pretty chaotic around here this morning and I could not get it done. So I'm sorry, you guys. I'm sorry. All right, we're gonna use embossing paste. Whoa, embossing paste is not retiring, but it's beautiful and we're gonna do it. So again, I was watching lots of technique videos, just kind of having fun, trying to just play, you know, and stamp. Um, and I saw somebody doing this rainbow stamping, uh, rainbow inking, and she was using um, stamp pads. And I was like, we can totally do that with our markers. And can you see how it's shiny? We're also going to emboss it with clear embossing powder. All right, so you're gonna need your Stamparatus for this, for sure, and it's fun. I'm going to show you why it's really good to use your Stamparatus with this technique. You could, of course, use it. Oh, here's the other option. This was the first one that I did, and I hand cut out those letters. You see that? However, that's hard. That's really hard. So then I made another one, and I just did it on a rectangle, and that's not hard at all. So you can pick whichever one you want to do. I did it in white. I did it in... Um, pineapple punch and I was thinking today why don't we try it on blueberry bushel and if you get the make and takes next week guys I'm almost out of both of these <laughs> I don't know what color you're gonna get I've ordered but they're on back order so we'll see okay okay now I think I cut out the rectangle already but I think that's kind of dumb. I think I should start with a big piece of Whisper White. So let's do that and then we'll die cut afterwards because I feel like it's gonna move around too much that way. Okay, let me get all of this situated. And we will, hmm, how do I wanna do this? Let me turn this like this. I want this like this and I want this up here as far in the corner as it can go. I'm gonna use my magnets on it, but in case it slips around, I know that just to push it back up in that corner. All right? All right. Now we're gonna use, of course, the in-color markers. They are all the colors we've been using. And we're gonna use the thinks. You could use any of these, but I'm gonna use the thinks. Oh, and you know what? Did I use, I think I did purple too. Yeah, I gotta grab my grape marker. So I did end up adding purple. All right, so we're gonna lay it right there. And we're gonna start with our rainbow order. Thanks for sharing, you guys. When you share, you're entered into the drawing for next week's prizes. All right, we're gonna start over here and I'm gonna color um, the T with lovely lipstick. And I'm gonna let it just go barely up on that H. Now, you guys know when you color your stamps with the markers, it's not always that crisp. But if you use the Stamparatus like this, you can do it as many times as you want to get it nice and bold, okay? And I'm just kind of going up to the H because I want it to blend in. And I found that the Grapefruit Grove 
marker was the lightest and I had to really do it the most. Um, but I'm gonna kind of blend it in with that lovely lipstick that came over, a little bit over on the A, and do it again and again. Well, this one, I actually, my Grapefruit Grove marker was pretty dry, so I actually just ordered a new set, so it does look better than the other one. Okay, Pineapple Punch. Do you guys, I am probably the only person that knows this. When um, these colors came out two summers ago, we had gone on a family vacation and my kids kept singing this stupid song. <sighs> Put the apple pen and the pineapple pen. I don't know, it was some dumb TikTok or something. And every time I say pineapple punch, it reminds me of whatever that stupid song was on that vacation. And Usually when I say that, people are like, I have no idea what you're talking about. And now I can't even remember what it was. But it was one of those things, you know, like when you're on vacation and the kids are just singing it over and over again. It just is funny and it reminds you of that vacation. So anyway, Pineapple Punch. I feel like I need to sing that song. All right. So we've got that and we've got Blueberry Bushel. Now you could just color them all at once and then stamp it. You could. But this way I have better control and I can just kind of do it a couple of times. Let me grab my grape. Gorgeous grape is a good, um, is a good, what am I trying to say? Purple for the rainbow. And of course, it's not here. Okay, what should we use? Highland Heather? Oh, here it is. No, is that it? This is what I get for not doing the clean recordings ahead of time. Because I get to work out all the kinks when I do that. Okay, we'll use Highland Heather. If we do it several times, it'll be dark enough, hopefully. Is this Highland Heather? Yeah. Oh, look at it. See? I need gorgeous grape. All right, well, let's just do it. I didn't get it out, did I? Is it on here? No. Boo. Gorgeous grape is in the Brights family, in case you were wondering. God, look at that. Okay, you know what? We're going to do something else. I'm going to get my Gorgeous Grape ink pad, and I'm just going to barely, I'm going to get down and look, I'm going to ink it like this, okay? Let's see if I got it. All right, wipe anything off there. It's much easier <laughs> with your marker. Oh, that's much better, isn't it? Okay. Now, before we take it off, we're gonna um, emboss it. And I've got a big mess here, let's see. Let's grab that embossing buddy. You guys, I'm not kidding when I say, what the heck? Why is it retiring? I use it a lot. I don't know, is there, there must be some other something out there that we can use. Maybe a dryer sheet. Oh, who says you remember that? Christina, you remember that stupid pineapple pen? Apple pen, whatever, that was so dumb. <laughs> um, embossing Buddy is great. It removes all of your static clean, okay? So if you don't have one, add it to your order because you need it. It's awesome, and I can't believe they're getting rid of it. Now, everything's still in place. I'm going to take my Versamark. I cleaned my stamp real good, got all the ink off of it. And I'm going to ink right over that. Then we're gonna take our clear. <laughs> Elaine, yeah. You know, sometimes you just gotta get creative. I can't believe I've lost two things during this today, just today. All right, oh, I why did I close that? I need to put that back in there. Okay, clear embossing powder. By the way, black embossing powder is retiring and so are those shimmery, black and shimmery white. If you didn't get those and you want those, I would add those two. All right, now, heat tool, and we're gonna set it. Takes a few seconds to get set up. Yeah, um, it, those markers are easier than using ink, um, ink pads. You could use your ink spots, but again, the markers are just so much easier. And the fact that you can stamp over and over and over again, you can really get that dark, color that you can't normally get with a marker. That's um, one thing really good about the Stamparatus that you can use it for is to get a deeper color with your markers. All right, can you guys see how it's shiny now? Yay! Woohoo! 
Okay. Now, where is the die cut machine? Oh my goodness, it's three o'clock. I'm tardy, I'm late, I'm running over. I, I just chatted a lot today, I don't know. Okay, now, I'm gonna pretend like I'm not looking for something that I can't find. <laughs> what did I use? Did I use a stitched rectangle? Uh-oh, I pulled out my scalloped rectangles. Let's see, will this work? Sure, that'll work. Scallop stitched or regular stitched? Whichever you have handy, okay? Or you can get your tiny, your small snips, paper snips, and cut that word out. Fussy cut it. Now, you guys know I like to fussy cut, but that's hard. <laughs> Do you guys find that hard, cutting out words like that? I see some people do it and it's like totally perfect and I cannot do it totally perfect okay so there now we have that now let's do the very last part we're gonna do our embossing paste and I'm using shimmer embossing paste and I'm gonna we're gonna ho hold our fingers crossed that it's not dry because when I opened it last weekend it was almost completely dry so let's hope that it's not dry let me get some, you can use um, painter's tape, you can use washi tape, whatever you want. I'm gonna just put, you know what, I probably should get some, um, let me get a piece of paper, because I don't wanna get this on my desk. If you haven't used embossing paste before, it is like concrete, it does not come off. So don't, you can see it's still on my mask. So as soon as we're done, I have to run to the sink and wash it. So don't leave it on any of your tools. You have to wash it immediately. Okay, now we're gonna put this, let's see, we'll start, let's do that. And I'll just put a little, a little of that and a little of that right there. All right, embossing paste. And I was gonna use my silicone mat. It's right here, let me grab it. Silicone mat is such a great tool to have handy. Now you can color your embossing paste if you want. And the way that you color your embossing paste is your reinkers. There's another use for those reinkers, right? Oh, geez, there's little crummy things on my, on my silicone mat. Um, so if you wanted this to be a different color, which I think I did over here, right? I put pineapple punch, just a few drops. You mix it all around and it'll make it the color of whatever you put in there. But I think we're gonna just do white clouds because I think that's gonna be really pretty on this blueberry bushel cardstock. And you're just like spackling, you know, like maybe you're putting in some tile at your house. It's the same thing. The one thing that I will tell you is that a little bit goes a long way. If you dyed a bunch of it and then you had a bunch of it left over, um, you've kind of wasted it. But um, just start with a little bit. And the other thing to know is that it will dry exactly as you see it. So if you leave like a little scrape mark or a clump like that, it's gonna dry just like that. Um, let's see, what else was I gonna tell you about that? I don't know. Take it after you've got all those little clouds filled in. This is the, um, oh, Perfect Parties, what's it called? Did I even put this on the supply list? I don't remember putting it on there. I did not. Oh yeah, I did. Pattern Party Decorative Masks, and these are retiring right suddenly i'm doubting myself on that anybody can correct me all right so there you go you get that all done get it all filled in as much scraped off and i can take this since it's white and put it back in there and close it up really tight so hopefully next time it won't be um dry and then you need to run to your sink <laughs> I'm not kidding when I say run to your sink and wash it off. It dries 
crazy fast, but I have a paper towel here, so we'll just wipe it. And this is palette knife. The palette knives, I believe there are three in a pack. They're great too. All right, let's peel it off and see. Ready? I got a little bit up here and I don't like that. Oh well. Ooh, I like it. What do you guys think? White clouds on blueberry bushel is very pretty. We have some clouds on the back too. <laughs> we can always cut that off and mount it back on a different card base. All right. Now, the only thing left to do is to take your, your thanks and put it right there. But I can't do that until it's totally dry. And I would do it with dimensionals. Ooh, I really like blueberry bushel. Why didn't I think of that first? Why did I do pineapple punch first? I don't know. That's pretty. White's really pretty too. But that blueberry bushel, that makes more sense, doesn't it? All right. I'm seven minutes late today, you guys. Thanks for hanging with me. No, Christina, embossing paste is not retiring. It is not. The masks are, okay, good. I thought so. Then suddenly I was um, questioning myself. Let's see if I missed anything. Yeah, Joy, glimmer papers, retiring, crazy. I know, crazy, crazy. All right, copper powder too. I didn't realize the copper powder was retiring. Yeah, Lori, black embossing powder is very popular. Um, okay, I think I got everything. All right, you guys. Awesome. This was fun today. Thank you for joining me. Thanks for putting up with my unorganized self today and the barking dogs. At least, well, no, somebody did come to the door, but they didn't ring the doorbell. <laughs> You just never know. Actually, you do know what's gonna happen around here. The dogs are gonna bark, the UPS man's gonna come, and I'm gonna lose something. That's pretty much for sure every week. <laughs> okay, you guys, don't forget, hop over to pinkbuckaroo.com, get your PDF. It has all the measurements down here and all those products that I used today, as well as those three things I told you at the beginning. Um, make sure you use this host code, um, if you put in your order by Monday at midnight and I will send you the make it takes for all three projects for free. All right. Yeah. And don't forget to share the video and I will give away those two bundles next week. And next week it's pedal to the metal. I promise. So make sure you come back for that because those projects are super cute. You guys have a great weekend. I hope you can get outside. I hope you can uh, decompress a little bit this weekend and hang in there and stay safe. Okay, guys. See you next week. Thanks. Bye-bye.